morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, indeed, it is a good morning. Just doing a little bit of an inspection, looking at everything. One thing that I wanted to make sure that you guys always check is that handle right there for your fifth wheel. Make sure that nobody pulled it overnight, right? Or whenever you stop somewhere, you know? I think that's a great tip to, uh, you know, check every day. And yeah, we got our four-way going. Looking at everything, making sure everything is looking all right. And then we'll hit the road. Yeah, beautiful sunshine morning there. Yeah, look at that, guys. Everything seems to be working good. Our seal is intact. Both of them, actually. I got two seals on it. Everything is looking pretty good, I would say. Yes, indeed. But, yeah, so let's get our day started. I hope you guys uh, will follow my journey today. Let's get this day started guys, let's hit the road, yes indeed, here we go, we're starting to roll backwards, so let's press the brakes in all the way, I usually do that a couple of times in the morning, at least twice I try, so that way you know, the brakes are supposed to adjust itself automatically, and that's how you can get it done, is press them all the way in, and then they're supposed to be adjusted so yeah this is a great way to start the day you know i'm happy so let's get out of this truck stop here safe and sound right and then we'll uh get back on the interstate and get some miles behind us today yeah Beautiful, beautiful sunshine this morning. No wind whatsoever that I can tell. We got a stop sign here, so we got to make sure that we do make a stop. And then we're going to go back onto the I-29. 500 feet, yeah. turn right on Gateway Drive, US-2. And then All right, take the RJ, you to tell the right 300 feet. So let's make our way down to I-29 and let's get some miles behind us. Still have seven, almost 1,700 miles to go yet, so let's make it happen, guys. I have just made a pit stop here in Suck Center, Minnesota. Went and did me a little grocery shopping in there. Yeah, I needed some more milk and tomatoes. And Bought me some bananas and all that good stuff, so I already stocked up again a little bit on groceries. But we should be good to go now on this trip at least. I think I have enough food in here now to last me for the whole trip. So we'll be able to uh, eat out of the truck a little bit more this week, I think. That's the plan anyways, so we're... Uh, we're just taking her easy you know we don't got nothing in the rush so I mean we still have 1483 miles to go so I mean even if I do say 500 tomorrow 500 the day after that's a thousand miles right there I do a few hundred you know maybe 200 300 more miles today yet which I can easily do today then I'm already there, you know. So, uh, so we'll see, you know. Might have 200 miles to go the, the, the day after, uh, you know, like on Tuesday. But, hey, that's no big deal, right? I mean, I'll be there still on time. But we'll see how far we make it today. I have no plans on stopping yet. I mean, it's only... A, one o'clock in the afternoon right now so we're gonna go for a few hours but I had to take my half an hour break and I was getting hungry I hadn't had anything to eat yet today so I decided to go pull into the Walmart over there in Sox Center Minnesota and did me my little shopping spree there so yeah I hope all of you guys are having a fantastic weekend I sure am so far, I mean, I'm just extremely happy that everything is working finally on the truck correctly as far as I can tell. 
getting good fuel mileage that's making me happy so uh so yeah looks like we got us about another half an hour 45 minutes to uh well maybe a little more than that but we'll see yeah i'll probably button yeah I'll probably be about an hour and i'll be uh i'll be in minneapolis i'll get through minneapolis and I'm kind of thinking maybe I'll go up to Portage, Wisconsin, or so Beloit in that area maybe today, and then we'll call it a day. We'll see how far we actually make it, but <laughs> yeah, like I said, we going we don't really have to rush too much. I mean, yeah, I gotta make some miles, but don't really have to do super big miles, right? So whatever way we make it happen as long as we get there on time that's usually the plan Our appointment is only for 12 30 eastern time on tuesday so we'll see but anyways we'll continue on cruising we have just recently entered into wisconsin ladies and gentlemen yes we have and we are just cruising right on the long air I already looked it up here and it looks like we're probably going to end up stopping in Portage La Portage, Wisconsin. I almost said Portage La Prairie, but that's Manitoba and we ain't in Manitoba, so. So yeah, we're going to be probably ending up uh, calling it a day at uh, Portage, Wisconsin. Yeah, and then we'll probably get up early in the morning and then we'll go in there and see if we can get a truck wash done. I really want to get me a truck wash done. It's been a good while since I had one and I pulled in over there by Fargo by Staymark there. And there was like four trucks ahead of me so luckily I was able to make a U-turn in there and go out, go back out again. So uh, yeah, I didn't have to wait there. I didn't want to wait an hour and a half just to get a truck wash so Hopefully we'll be able to go in there tomorrow morning, early in the morning, and they're open 24 hours a day. Then we'll be able to get a truck wash over there in Portage. Hopefully that will be the case. I'll at least go in there and check and see if they're busy. And if they're not, then we'll go in there and probably get a wash over there. But as of right now, we're just giving her and don't really feel the need to stop as of yet. So. So we'll continue on cruising along there. Just a beautiful day today. Yeah. Oh, look at this. This guy has got a loose strap there. Well, it's not really a loose strap. It's just a long strap. And I guess he didn't tie it down properly the way he's supposed to. So it's kind of dangling off the trailer there. Which is never a good thing, but hey, sometimes that happens. But anyways, we'll continue on with our journey here and see how everything will go for the rest of the day, right? So far it's been going good. No issues with the truck whatsoever, so we're getting more confident and more confident that everything is going to be good. The sun is starting to go downhill, guys. Yeah, it's starting to get a little darker as we speak, but uh, hey, we got about another half an hour to roll, and then we'll be done for today at least. I could easily go a little further if I wanted to, but I only got 1171 miles to go as of right now, so if I do another 30 miles, that means, you know, I'll be down to 1140 miles. So I can easily do that in two days and I got two and a half days to do it in so so we're gonna call our quits here in about a half an hour I'll probably stop in there and Portage Wisconsin that is gonna be it we're gonna go in there fuel her up go in and take a shower probably make us some supper I want to try and cook some supper in the truck here tonight so we'll probably go ahead and do that and then we'll uh, I guess get us a good night's sleep I'll have a look and see if there's a big line up there for the truck wash if there isn't I'm gonna get a truck wash tonight if there is I'm gonna wait till tomorrow morning early morning 
and then I'll go in there and get me a truck wash. I've been wanting to get a truck wash now for a while, so it's it's time. It's time to get a truck wash. Oh yeah, that's for sure. So let's get on down over there and call it a day. Alrighty, guys, here we are getting a truck wash. We just actually just pulled in. So uh, there was only this one truck ahead of me there when I came into this truck stop and I had to fuel and scale my load and all that good stuff and so I went around and still nobody else pulled in front of me so I said alright great so let's go get a truck wash so that's what we're doing right now they're just starting on it a little bit and I guess that other guy is going to be moving forward here in a minute and then they'll pull me all the way in and get my wash so Let's get to it. Alrighty guys, yesterday it was dark after I got my truck washed and all of that, so I figured I'll wait till today and have a look at that beautiful truck. This is obviously the new rim that they put on there a few weeks ago when we uh, did the safety. Man, that looks nice, doesn't it? Oh, wow. I think these guys, they did a fantastic job. Look at that. It is absolutely gorgeous. What do you guys think? I think she looks very pretty. Yeah. I think it just, you know, when you uh, have a lot of problems with your truck, you don't really care about it anymore, you know? And no, finally things seem to be turning around and uh, seems to be uh, working good again, so then it feels like I care about the truck a little bit more and then you know I start taking care of it I guess you would you could say I washed her real nice and man I'm impressed they did a very very good job with the truck <laughs> now that's gonna feel good going down the road again but anyways we're done for today I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here and be back tomorrow morning so I appreciate you guys tuning in so we'll see you tomorrow morning so don't go nowhere give it a big thumbs up do me a favor and share this video with your friends so they know about me and uh, if you're new to the channel would love to have you on board by hitting that subscribe button so we'll see you right here tomorrow morning Behind me, that day is gonna